right, movie fans. Now to conclude the movie part of this uh, list of 2014, time to move on to the, my most anticipated list of 2015. Yep. And, of course, I'm going to include honorable mentions instead of doing, uh, you know, the runner-up list as I did last year and the year before. So let's get to it. Number 10, The Martian. Okay, um, I haven't read the book on this one, but I read kind of a summarized version of the book, um, and I'm glad it's finally getting an adaptation. It sounds really interesting. Humans go to Mars, and a dust storm causes them to leave and accidentally leave one guy behind. Sounds pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Number nine, Ant-Man. Yep, of course, this is another comic book-like movie, so I don't know too much about this guy, but hey. I'm keeping faith on this one. Sounds pretty cool. Number eight, Tomorrowland. Yep, looks like Disney's at it again with movies based off theme park attractions. Or I should say, this one's actually based off a um, section of Disney World. Yep, Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom. You know, where Space Mountain and all those uh, futuristic rides are. Um, so, I saw the trailer. Obviously, it looks like George Clooney's going to be the main cast in this. All about the future. Sounds like a cool idea. Let's hope it's more like Pirates of the Caribbean and less like the crap movies like Haunted Mansion, which I'm sure it's also going to get a reboot as well. I don't know when, but I'm keeping faith. Number seven, Disney Pixar's The Good Dinosaur. Don't know too much about the plot. Uh, I did hear it's supposedly about um, dinosaurs, I guess, that don't exactly all go extinct or one of them doesn't go extinct. But, yep, it looks like Disney Pixar's at it again. And this is just one of their movies that they're releasing, I think, late next year. So, let's hope for the best. Number six, The Walk. Okay, if you don't know too much about this one, um, I don't know if any of you were around when the original Trade Center, I know this sounds a little bit controversial, considering this has to do with the original World Trade Center, but this is supposedly a true story acted adaptation about, um, I'm assuming it's not going to have just when the guy, the you know, this French acrobat tight roped on top of one World Trade Center to the other. I'm sure it's going to have what took place before and after. And I think this would really be cool to watch in IMAX 3D. I saw the trailer in IMAX 3D when I went to see The Hobbit of the um, Battle of the Five Armies. And I thought it looked really cool. It started giving me really bad vertigo. But it looks pretty cool. And it's going to be directed by Robert Zemeckis, the same guy who did the Back to the Future trilogy, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Forrest Gump, and Castaway, and so on and so forth. I'm keeping faith on this one. Number five, Jurassic World. Yeah. Instead of calling it Jurassic Park 4, they're calling it Jurassic World. Um, completely new cast, of course. I know it looks more like a reboot, really. But it, judging by the trailer, it looks like, I guess, the actor who plays Star-Lord is going to be the, one of the main cast members. Um, actually, they are bringing that Asian guy back from the first one. If you remember the guy that worked in the the hatching place where they were hatching the raptors. I forgot what his name was. But every other cast member is going to be different. Um, I know that it looks like there's a lot of CGI in the plot. I know it's not going to be as good as the first one. But I don't care. I just want to see some freaking dinosaurs. Supposedly, they're supposed to have a hybrid dinosaur in this one that gets on loose. And that causes hell on the park. Even though this time, millions of people are in the park and it's open for business, not just for a few people checking it out. They're taking the big chance of opening it up to public without test and approval. And I can imagine how much of a bloodbath this is going to be. So I'm keeping faith. I just want some entertainment. Number four. Fantastic Four. Yeah. This is a sequel? No, it's actually a reboot. Yep. After the two films that pretty much failed, I thought the first one was okay, and then the second one, yeah, sucked. So I'm glad they're finally giving this the proper, which I hope is the proper reboot. So let's hope it's, you know, like the Batman reboot after Joel Schumacher ruined it, not to get too carried away, but I'm keeping faith. The original I, I can take was too campy and not enough seriousness put into it, so keep faith for this one. I hope Marvel does a better job than the original ones. Number three, Mockingjay Part 2, or I should say Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Yep, the absolute last movie of this franchise, even though it's the second part of the last book. I enjoyed the first one, so I'm keeping faith on this one. Let's hope for the best. Number two, Jaws 19. Ah, just kidding. 
Yeah, I couldn't resist. No, but really. Number two, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Yeah, finally, it's about damn time. If you saw the trailer like anybody else, man, you were just speechless. Of course, it's going to be directed by the Star Trek uh, reboot director, J.J. Abrams. Kind of funny, Star Trek and Star Wars director are doing the same movie. Isn't that weird, right? Um, but I'm keeping faith on this one. Let's hope that it's more like the originals, not too much CGI put into it. I think he's aware that the original, you know, Star Wars Episode One and Two, you know, were pretty bad. Um, let's just hope it's nothing like those films. Let's hope it's more like the originals, Four, Five, and Six, the unaltered versions. But I know they're not going to not going to be able to resist using CGI. But most importantly, make it a good movie. And of course, it's going to be um, 8 and 9 as well after this one. But yeah, Harrison Ford is actually returning. Isn't that a surprise? Christ, I'm surprised that guy's not ready to retire. He came back in Expendables 3, even as an action star. But let's hope for the best. All right, before I get to number one, um, here's a few honorable mentions. Insurgent, the sequel to Divergent. Yeah, I'm keeping faith on that one, as well as Ted 2. I loved the first one. It was really funny. Um, obviously, mostly Family Guy fans love that one. San Andreas 3D. <laughs> yeah, I obviously thought of Grand Theft Auto when I saw that title, but no, this is actually a action movie, you know, about an earthquake that hits, I guess, California, considering it's on this San Andreas fault. And, of course, they got to put it in 3D. It's a quick cash grab right there. And it, but, come on, it stars the freaking rock. I mean, nobody's more badass than he is. Okay, there are plenty of badass actors. But with him, it should be good. It should be fun. You know, good popcorn entertainment. Insidious Chapter 3. I thought the first two were really, you know, good and underrated especially. So I'm keeping faith on this one. Disney and Pixar's Inside Out. Yep, as I said before, they're at it again. This is another one of their films. And a second SpongeBob movie. Yeah, coming back for another one. Sponge out of water. And I'm not surprised it's going to be in 3D. So, yep. And the number one most anticipated movie on my list. What didn't I mention, but sort of hinted. Yep, you guessed it. Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron. Yeah. For any Marvel fan, including myself, that saw the trailer, yeah, it looks pretty good. It does look like a darker approach than, the, obviously, the first one does. Um, so far, um, obviously, all the spin-off films are leading towards it. Um, I didn't realize, obviously, as I mentioned before, Guardians of the Galaxy is tied into it with the Collector and everything. So, let's hope for the best on this film. Um, I don't know too much about what's about to take place, so... As I said before, let's only hope for the best. I think Marvel will do a great job with this film. I have faith in them. So, that's my list of the most anticipated movies of 2015. Till next time, keep watching. Get